Hi, my name is Johan Stocking. I am tech lead of the Things Network. And in this video, I'm going to show you the Things Node and how you can get data from the Things Node in your application. So first, we start with the Things Node. And in the bottom, you can screw the Things Node open. Uh, and there, you can, uh, you can put the batteries in. Uh, and here is a micro USB port. And here you can connect your USB cable. You can also take this out. It's not necessary. Um, but here you can see what is inside of the Things Node. And it's basically a microchip module, a couple of sensors, buttons, and a light. So we're going to connect the micro USB cable. And then we go to the Arduino IDE. And in the Arduino IDE, um, make sure you have the Things Node library installed. You can install this through the sketch menu, include library, uh, manage libraries, um, and install the Things Node library here. Uh, when you did that, um, you can go to the file examples uh, and then the Things Node menu and click device info. And in this sketch, uh, we use this to get the unique EUI out of your device. Uh, and to do this, we need to replace um, this placeholder with your frequency plan. So we're going to copy this frequency plan uh, here. If you have the US version, you copy the other one. Um, and um, what is also very important to note is that you need to have the right uh, board selected in the Arduino IDE. Uh, so make sure your board is set to SparkFun Pro Micro and that the processor is the 3.3 volts version. If you can't find the SparkFun Pro Micro in your boards uh, here in this menu, uh, then you need to go to uh, the Arduino menu, uh, click Preferences, and in the settings there is a, a setting here, it's called Additional Boards Manager URLs. Um, click this button to edit the list. Uh, and add the URL here, which is the second URL for your SparkFun boards. And you can find these URLs uh, on the GitHub page of SparkFun. So go to github.com slash SparkFun slash Arduino underscore boards. And here are all the instructions to do this. So once you have this set and installed the board, um, you can upload your sketch to the Things node. So click the Upload button. It's compiling and uploading. <clears throat> and once it's uploaded, you can go to the serial monitor. And you can find the serial monitor here in the top right. And every 10, 20 seconds, it is uh, printing the EUI. So here you have your unique EUI. And you need this EUI to register your node in your Do Things Network application. So copy this EUI to your clipboard and go to the console. And here in your application, uh, you can go to Devices and click Register Device. Uh, you can pick any device ID here. So I'm just going to call my node, uh, node. And I'm going to paste the EUI right here. I leave the app key uh, generated randomly. Uh, and I'm going to register. So here's my device. And um, to send data from your node to the Things Network, we need to get the application EUI and the app key in your device. So to do this, we go back to the Arduino IDE. We can close this window. And we go to the file, examples, uh, and then the things node. And we open the basic example. So this is a very basic example that reads all the sensor values and sends it to your application. And in order to work with this example, we need to fill out two of these values. So this is the app UI and this is the app key. So if you go in the console and if you scroll all the way down, you can copy the example code from here. Uh, and you can copy it straight to the Arduino IDE. So you have your app UI and app key set correctly. Also make sure that the frequency plan is set correctly. Um, so go ahead, upload. And when it's done with compiling uh, and uploading, uh, you can open up the serial monitor again. And you see that everything is 
being configured, it's joining the network. And once everything is set up and joined correctly, uh, you will see that it's reading out sensor values and sending it every so often to the network. If you go back to the console, um, you'll see here that it's activated, so you see the status is green. Uh, and you can go see the, your data in the data tab. So this is the data that you notice sending. So here you see the activation, and here's the binary data that you notice sending. As I introduced in the payload functions video, uh, we need to decode this payload and make a usable object with it to read out the values that are in this binary payload. Uh, so go back to the Arduino IDE, uh, and in your sketch, in the example basic sketch, you can scroll down a little bit, and here is the, the decoder payload function uh, that you can use to decode the binary payload of this, uh, of, of this sketch. So you can just copy this and uh, paste it in the payload function of this application. So from this view, go here to your application, go to payload functions, and you can uh, delete this encoder and use the decoder that you copied. Um, and of course, you can test it with, uh, with some test data. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and enter some test data. It's not really important, uh, but it really shows that the function is actually doesn't contain any errors. So I'm going to save these. And once I did that, uh, the next message that my node sends uh, will actually be decoded. And you will see the different fields here appearing automatically. And these are very convenient to use in your application. Uh, there are actually different triggers in this, uh, in the things node. Uh, one of the triggers, as you can see here, so now you see data coming in, uh, is, a, is the interval trigger. So this is uh, every so often, uh, every 20 seconds, um, or every minute in this case, your node sends uh, data. Uh, but you can also uh, push the button to send, to send data, or even shake the device for the node to send data. But let's look what is inside this data. So you can click on this row and expand it. And here you see the different fields. So you see the battery level. You see why this message has been sent. So this was on the interval. You see the light level and the temperature. So on the node, you can also press the button. So there are two buttons here. This is the reset button. And this is the, uh, the action button. And if you press it, uh, you see immediately that the node sends a message. And here you see the event is button. But you can also shake it. And there you see that uh, the event here is motion. Uh, so this is a very easy, uh, easy, simple application uh, for your node uh, with the decoder payload function. And if you deconnect it, uh, put batteries in them, uh, close it, uh, you have a wireless sensor that you can program and use in the Things Network.